this. I know, I know. Sunshine go away today. I don't feel much like dancing. Some man's gone and trying to run my life. And I don't know what he's asking. But how much does it cost? I buy it. Time is all we've lost. I'll try it. But if he can't even run his own life, I'll be damned if he'll run mine. So, sunshine, go away today. I don't feel much like dancing. Someone's gone and trying to run my life. I don't know what they're saying. I know this though. But how much does it cost? I buy it. Time is always lost. I'll try it. He can't even run his own life. I'll be damned if you run mine. So, sunshine. Okay, that's enough. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place I like to call the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. You know, I realize that first, you know, how is everybody? I hope everybody is fine. I hope I have the same people um, and even more new listeners that we had um, than prior to the last video. I also hope that um, the grace of God finds you on this side of the dirt and uh, you haven't checked out and you still have family members who can Say hello and how are you and I love you and all those things. Um, if that's what you choose so to have. <laughs> Let me make sure I make that plain. Because there are some family members you just don't, you, you don't mess with like that. But anyway, let me go here. You know, we call this place the mental house because it is really becoming more apparent to me how how many of us have been our grid is set for crazy okay and you want to know what i mean by that i mean that it used to be a time where black people we knew just how crazy the dominant society was we knew that and for us having to live with them being enslaved by them um having us suckle their babies at our breasts, having to uh, be molested and graped and everything else by these people, we became, you know, extremely enmeshed. However, even with the enmeshment, we still had the universal principles and we still was grounded with a cable that connected us to the Most High. That cable have been severed, okay, in a lot of ways and in a lot of people. I ain't saying with all, because, you know, we all think we got the answers, okay? So this is just an opinion. But when you really look at somebody like Donald Trump, who is clearly mentally ill, clearly a malignant narcissist, which is the dangerous kind, the kind that doesn't care, you know, about nothing and nobody, the same spirit spirit that you saw in a Adolf or a Mussolini type and to see that people will still vote for this type of character with no remorse so it really says more about how who we are as a nation than what it says about him okay so I'm not even on him no more I'm like that's the reason God gave me this mental house that's why we talk in mental shit because our grid is so low and we have been so exposed predisposed 
a welcoming of abnormal psychotic behavior that we would allow somebody like this to run the country a second time. It was bad enough we made we were stupid enough to vote for him the first time. So is it you clearly you, that hatred of other people that don't look white that would allow you to vote for him or do you think cuz you know I mean even the wrong clock is right twice a day. So because he make a few good points like um you know whatever they may be you can't look at this man's whole, the totality of this man and the totality of the situation and see that this man is crazy. I mean, that's a problem for me. And damn him right now. I'm talking to those, not those of us that's involved in the mental house because we keep our mental sharp in here. But let's talk about everybody outside of this. And I'm not saying it like we got all the answers, family. I'm saying who in their right mind would vote for somebody that's clearly, clearly a fucking mental case and then think they doing something by talking about tangibles. Um, I'm going to go for the uh, tangibles and what Kamala Harris going to do for us. Was she not? Listen, the country was built on psychopaths and that I understand. So, you done dealt with this craziness for over 400 years. But now you got somebody standing in your face, clearly telling you, I will feed your babies to the alligators. I will, I will uh, 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 feed them to the sharks and all, all this kind of crazy shit. I will give uh, the police qualified immunity. I don't care what the circumstance. They can come in your house and blow your brains out. I don't give a damn. And you still would even have a question if I should vote for him or not. Or I would say I'm going to. What's wrong with you? You have a man. And because, black, in my opinion, black people are so chattel. I mean, so because of chattel slavery, we so ready for. We don't care about the pain. We love pain. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about, okay, so we cool with a guy that would want to take a, a, a kill black innocent teenagers because he perceived that they did something that they didn't. It's clear that he put C's on all the applications of the people that him and his daddy was renting to, and they was on the losing end of a discrimination lawsuit. So there's no race that he gets along with. You got a nephew and a niece that's sitting there telling you my uncle is a is a nutcase. And we still got people talking about, well, I don't know, and thinking they're actually saying something powerful. Listen, if 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 that's the case, if this is the case, and you sit up here talking about some tangibles, and uh, you don't get my vote, and blah, 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 and you ain't finna get shit because the country getting ready to get blown apart, it's already slowly dying. But you want to go in a rocket ship with Donald Trump because you started a, a movement uh, maybe a hundred years too late. But, and I, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I mean it in the way that we always slow to the party. So when we start finally putting this stuff together and figuring out our wealth and how far we own it, totem pole, there was a lot of people that tried to tell us, but we didn't listen. Because we thought Jesus was going to move it away. But he didn't. And he ain't. This is our fight to fight. Okay? But to clear the sheer psychoticness of a group of people that would vote for somebody that disrespect them so much is what my problem is. I, when I, every time I see black men for Trump, I want to go up and give them all a swift kick. Because I'm like... How messed up in the mind could you be that you is attracted to somebody that tried to kill you? You don't care. You actually think that you you actually think that you want to be different and you want to be so important that you I don't want to vote for these because uh, they letting all these immigrants in here show. Yep, they are. They sure are. They sure are. Mm hmm. And what are we going to do about it besides sit back at home, smoke a blunt, and complain? 
Most of us ain't going to get up off our tussies and go down and do nothing. But nothing, that's a, a vast majority of us just talk, talk, talk like you hear me doing right now. The only thing is I didn't put in my work. I'm retired. I'm retired from that type of activism. Okay? And now I use a platform to say what I feel like I need to say. But I'm saying to us as black people, as especially, especially black people, thinking people, but especially black people, how can you vote for somebody that you clearly know is crazy? And what the hell is that saying about your crazy ass? That you would clearly vote for somebody who's insane. Think about that for a minute. Because that's the question of the day. And that goes to show you just how bad you need therapy. How you need help. And how you need to work out your childhood trauma because you have, you revved up for this. You like to be mistreated. So you have to get to the bottom of this and find out why, what, and how you take a stand for shedding that type of um, a skin that you're in and that you're comfortable with being abused by uh, people in a dominant society. Because you're not going to be abused like that by a black person. That's why it kills me when white folks think that we have so much. You, we ain't going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that uh, for another black person at all. But it kind of reminds me of what um, uh, 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 Willie Lynch said, and I keep repeating this. We don't have to worry about them. These people will be perpetually miserable. And in um, it, which leads me actually, I'm I'm to my next to uh, another video I did. Um, since we just celebrated the birthday of Nipsey Hussle last week, um, it was a painful situation, and um, I want to talk about that in my next video. So, but what I want you to do is I want you to think real long and hard about what I said and why. You understand why we're so geared for crazy. Okay? We got a pain body. Uh, Neely Fuller said, if you see blood, three black dudes walking together, you better cross the street. Not so much if you're a white person, but more specifically, if you're a black person. Because you, they're going to do nothing but spew poison. And the self-hatred, it's not their fault. But it's their fault if they don't get a chance to observe and see where it, where it is. And how much of self-hatred are they um, oozing and exemplifying in their behavior. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Okay? And I'm going to be back with another video. In the meantime. Those of y'all that roll with me, that rock with me, like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share my video. I would really appreciate it. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Okay? Be blessed, family.